Hi, I'm Lee Partridge and welcome back to Cole UTV. It's our midweek show. Continuing a good start to 2023, we picked up another point yesterday evening with a goalless draw against Walsall. A hard-fought game, kind of each team cancelling each other out against the Saddlers, who have incidentally only lost two league games since the beginning of October. Let's take a look back at the highlights and then hear from head coach Matt Bloomfield. Matt, really tough game tonight. Draw the point, fair result? I think so, Gregors, yeah, I think so. I think probably first half there was a bit more fluency about the game, a little bit more um, ball in play, a bit more tempo about us. Um, uh, I think a, a point was a fair result. A, you know, a team that doesn't concede many on the road, doesn't lose many games, and you can see why. Um, they've drawn with Northampton, they've drawn with Orient recently, and they're, they're a tough outfit. So. Um, I think a point needs to be respected, a clean sheet needs to be respected and we, we add it onto our telly and we, and we move on. Yeah, and although we, we, you're at home and you put out a really attacking side, but credit to Walsall, they defended very well against us and we, we, we weren't able to use those full bodies further up the pitch to, as much as you probably would have liked. No, exactly that. I think you've hit the nail on the head, mate. We picked as attacking team as we possibly could with having two... Um, with Matt Jay and, and Noah Chilvers as attacking midfielders and, and two strikers on the pitch as well. We wanted to play of our wing backs high. I thought in the first half at times, um, MJ was able to receive the ball just outside of their um, back three and outside their midfield areas, which is what we wanted. And Noah was able to uh, dribble from midfield areas. Again, the reason why we, we put them two in the team together. Um, but I felt the second half with there's quite a lot of stoppages, lots of fouls, long throws that you know took ages to come back on the pitch. So it was a, tough to get any real sort of tempo and moment, momentum in the game, and um, which is probably a contributing factor as to why they they concede very few on the road. Yeah, and in that second half, concentration and focus when those balls come in, you know the first phase and the second phase, we defended them very well. Didn't we? Yeah, I'm really really pleased. Um, I just sort of said uh, uh, outside that you know especially when Chamber went off, we lost. His height, and then Quezzy and and, and John, um, Quezzy came on for John, and Samson came on for Hop. So we were undersized at that point. But um, the two at the centre and the centre of defence, I thought Kells and and Hawley, I thought were absolutely excellent. Their desire, their leadership, I think, is coming through now. They're settling in um, and galvanising those around them. I thought that the boys stuck to the task really, really well, defending all the long throws and the, and the free kicks. So fair play to our boys. That that resilience and that team teamwork. Um, is a good foundation from which to build. Of course, we, we try changing formation, get some more attacking players on the pitch. We want to try and create some chances. Um, but, you know, I think, uh, like I say, there was a lack of tempo and momentum in the game, which made that fairly difficult. Yeah. You, you mentioned over the past couple of weeks about transition. 
with the new players coming into the squad, do you think that's getting better and better each week and each day that goes by? I do. I, I do. I feel like um, the lads that were um, already in the football club have, have welcomed them with open arms. I felt like the boys that have come in have come with a real desire to, to help this football club move forward. Um, and whilst we are still in a transitional moment, I think it's it's gone fairly smoothly. Um, I think results would suggest that. And I think the evidence out there on the pitch in terms of that camaraderie, the desire, the togetherness, um, I'm seeing some um, real good signs of, you know, the high fives and, the, the, you know, congratulating each other on the small wins. I think that's really, really important, Greg, as in terms of team spirit. So you have to be pleased with that. Um, and, I, and I do believe that as we move forward, the way we want to move the team, the place we want to take to, will will continue to come out. So um, some some positive signs, and like I say, a clean sheet and another point in our total. We've got to be pleased against the team that's that's going for the playoffs. Yeah. One negative from this evening: for the first time this season, Luke Chambers not able to complete ninety minutes. How's he? He's okay. Yeah, he took a knock, um, and whilst I knew he'd he'd want to stay on the pitch and complete the ninety minutes, you know, you don't play as many games as he has without that desire. Um, it was really good of him and, and honest of him to, to let us know that he was struggling a bit. I left it on him in terms of um, I knew he'd be honest with us with, with what he needed to do. So he's taken a knock um, and we'll have to get that assessed overnight and, and see where that's at. Which is obviously disappointing for him, but um, yeah, I think he's a real team player and he and he knew that he needed to come off. Um, we went to a back four to, again, try and get another um, attacker on the pitch, try and create something late on. But Fair play to Chambo and, and all those defenders. I thought they were re really resilient to get two clean sheets in a row. Um, we've got to be pleased. Yeah, and with three games in a week, you're going to get knocks and niggles up. Is it a case of nursing to play through now until Saturday and the trip to Carlisle? Yeah, most certainly. I mean, a couple of the boys um, had knocks from the game Saturday, but wanted to play tonight. And, you know, with these three game weeks, um, you know, you are going to get those type of situations. So it's almost a case of um, counting the heads, seeing where we're at. Um, I'm giving them the boys will have tomorrow off because obviously lack of sleep tonight. They want them to recover. I've asked them to go and make sure they're eating and sleeping properly as much as they can. Go and have a bit of a cool down tomorrow. We'll come back in Thursday. We've we'll put a plan in place for Carlisle. We've obviously got a long trip Friday, so we'll prepare as best we can. And we're, we're really excited to get back on that coach and, and see what the weekend brings. As Matt says, it's another point on the board and a good effort from the lads in a battle of attrition at the JobServe Community Stadium last night. We'll get to your man of the match from that one shortly, but continuing with the post-match thoughts, let's hear from goalkeeper Kieran O'Hara. Kieran, really tough game. You must be pleased that we got a clean sheet and a point out of it. Yeah, um, tough game. It was always going to be a tough game. Um, you know, we know that they're, they're a good team um, on their day. And yeah, um, you know, I thought both teams had chances. Um, but yeah, um, just happy with it. Uh, clean sheet, back to back clean sheets in the league. Saturday, Tuesday, it's tough for the boys. So, yeah, we're obviously made up and we'll build off the back of that now. And in the second half, especially you and your defenders had plenty of set pieces and balls thrown into the box that you had to defend against. Yeah, yeah. Um, second half was tough. You know, they, they loaded the box, uh, big lads, you know, but we matched them up. Uh, I thought the boys were excellent in front of me, um, defending set, uh, set pieces. So, yeah, we were, we were made up with a clean sheet in the end. Yeah. Does it make it hard for a kid when there are so many bodies there and so many big bodies from both sides to make those decisions about coming or, or leaving them to it? Yeah, it's tough. Sometimes you have to take responsibility um, and, and come and take pressure off your back, um, like three or four. Um, but, yeah, it's just making those decisions that just comes with experience and um, knowing when to come and, and, and when they, you're not going to help the situation. So, yeah, um, just whenever I can help the boys, and I think the, the ball's got a bit of height on it. Um, I'll, I'll come and take it like you saw tonight. So, yeah, any way I can help. Yeah, and obviously over the past few weeks, you've had new players coming into the building that you players that we already have got to get used to, and two of them being centre-halves. Uh, have they settled in nicely into that back three? Yeah, um, Holly and Kyle's they're talking about their, um settled in really well, both top players, top defenders. I think you see that week in, week out. Um, and... Obviously, they'll be made up to tonight with a, with a clean sheet. Um, so it's credit to, to them boys. Um, but as well, you know, we know it starts from the front. It's a team game. Um, I thought, you know, everyone tonight defensively was, was excellent. Yeah, and from a personal note, it must be really pleasing to be getting game after game and under your belt and, and your confidence personally must be getting better and better all the time you play. Yeah, of course. You know, we've spoken about it a few times now. Um, just to be playing regularly, that's... 
you know, a big part of it for a goalkeeper um, to find, you know, the, the best form. Um, but yeah, I'm just happy to be out there every week uh, fighting with the boys for the club um, and, and playing my part uh, in, in, in getting results and climbing the table like we all know we can do and hopefully over the next few weeks and months we can, we can do that. Two clean sheets on the spin for Kieran and he'll be hoping for another one, as we all will, at the weekend. It's five unbeaten from the lads, just one defeat in nine and heading into the last third of the season after last night and, of course, going for six on the spin against Carlisle at the weekend, which will be a club record. Your man of the match from last night was Freakra Kelleher, a good performance, another brilliant performance from the Irishman. Uh, but onto the academy as well now. And we've got the highlights and the reaction from the Essex Senior Cup. And then we'll get the thoughts from Dave Hussey. Well, Dave, you're just saying game of two halves, really. Were you pleased with the first half and what was your overall performance? Obviously, Braintree came out flying and managed to turn it around. Yeah, no, I was, I was delighted with the first half performance. I thought um, well, the lads stuck to exactly what we asked them to do, um, play our way um, and do that by not making it physical, by making having good positions to receive it, out positioning your opponent, if you like. And um, I thought we perfected it perfectly. And it was just the second half. When the atmosphere gets a little bit different and these boys don't experience that, which they should, do you know what I mean? Because it was a great experience for them today. Regardless of the result, it was a great experience. I just think we needed to be a little bit more, um, have a bit more belief in what we do. Because the lads are good enough to perfect it, but we just didn't have a chance to in the second half. So I don't think they really got on it as much as we did in the first. So a bit of a missed opportunity, so they, they, can't, they won't have a chance again this season to play in front of supporters, this many anyway. No, exactly that. Um, listen, regardless of the result, this, this game has been excellent for us. This competition has been excellent for us. Um, I think back to the, the first game we played in it against Dagenham. There's a few there, there's a bit of pressure. It was a, it was a, a conference side um, and the boys performed brilliantly. Then we had Saffron Morden here. Again, a different type of fixture, but I thought the boys were excellent. And today was the, um, the icing on the cake in terms of the occasion because there was a few fans here, it was quite, it was noisy and we don't get to experience that. Um, I just wish we would would have stuck to the, to the first half performance as much as we did in the second. And back to, well, the league action for these guys on the 14th. So I guess, is there much they can take from this game into that? Ah, there's loads, there's absolutely loads. And I think, something like I just said in the, in the change room after, it's not that we have to change anything, it's just we have to get better at it. So when the emotion of the game does kick in, we, we, our quality is just better and it gets better and, it, and we move it quicker and we have better technique. Um, so that's something we'll be working on with the lads. And I think, honestly, as much as I'm absolutely gutted that we're not going to have another experience of playing in this competition with a bit of an atmosphere, um, I'm delighted that we had the chance to do it. Thank you. <laughs> I guess they, they've got the momentum in the second half. It's, it's difficult for a team when you're playing against a team that gathers that momentum, they're going to hold back and they're, there in the no, definitely. And I think that's that's what I was just saying there. Like we, we play against teams that have momentum all the time, but they don't have a crowd, they don't they're not men, and they don't have that will that it kicks everybody on. 
um, and we can deal with momentum, fine. That's a different experience. Yeah. And I think the boys have to understand that nothing changes. We don't suddenly just start going long because it's a, it's a diff, uh, because they have momentum. Yeah. We just start playing what we do, but just a little bit better, a little bit quicker and, and, and find the spaces in the pockets and higher up the pitch a little bit earlier maybe. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we did do that tonight, but I, I do honestly think it'd be a great one to review and it'd be a really good experience for the lads. Yeah, I guess it's, a, you know, as you say, a learning experience for these guys. As much as this is a painful defeat for them, mm. I'm sure, and they're sitting in the dressing room feeling really hard at the moment, mm. but in the long term, to go through these experiences is a positive. Definitely, definitely. And I think it's, it's more painful because you don't have the experience of doing it again. Mm. Um, so yeah, like, listen, don't please for one minute, don't think I'm saying it's, it's a good thing that we've lost, because it's not. And I'm, I'm really disappointed we lost. The good thing is that we've had the experience. Um, and hopefully the lads can take it into the opportunities they have in their career. And I'm, I'm sure two or three of them will be playing in the first team over the next God knows how many years. I hope so. Um, whether it's here or somewhere else, or it doesn't matter. But, or it does matter, but we want them here. But um, we just want to make sure they have that experience. And, and these help with that massively and we can see the boys that, that can cope with the, a little bit of pressure and a bit of momentum and the ones that maybe shy away from it that we can work on. It seems a long time ago now but Oscar Thorne's finish was fantastic for the first game, wasn't it? Brilliant, yeah Oscar's done really well since he's come in. It's been been a tough one for him because he hasn't been able to sign everything until January um, so he was waiting and training for a little while and, and raring to go. Um, he's put in some really good performances Oscar has. Um, first half I thought his pace and his directness was, was excellent for the team um, and yeah, I thought it, second half maybe could have done a little bit better, but he knows that. And one thing is, he's an honest lad, and he'll, um, he'll critique his game as, as anyone will. Yeah. And a few of the lads out there tonight have been involved in the first team recently, mm. Adam Lynn and, and Jaden, and guys like that, and Will's just coming as well. Were you pleased with the contribution they made and the minutes they've got on the belt? Yeah, always, always. That's one thing about the football club and, and the gaffer, you won't let them come down with anything but that sort of attitude and that sort of contribution, which is excellent. And, um, Will, was, Will was brilliant tonight. Obviously, we was going to play Tom as well, but he pulled up in the in the warm up as well. So, I think the um, the contribution of anyone that comes down is always good. Um, but also the lads that are in and around it that are popping in and out, because they know they need these games. Yeah, they need these games to stay fit for for one, but also to improve. And I think that's really important. Not the result they or we was looking for, but as Dave says, it's good experience for the youngsters who will hopefully be able to take that forward. And you may have seen recently Gene Kennedy has joined Braintree Town on a one-month loan deal. So good luck to him in the National League South for his time there. It's almost time to wrap up for today, but not before we take a look back at our last win at Brunton Park, coming back in March 2020.
remember that game well being up there and little did we know that would be the last away game uh, before we went into the first lockdown. We'll be heading back up there full of confidence and looking to make it six consecutive away wins on the spin. And that would, as I mentioned earlier, be a new club record. To get your tickets for that one, you can call the ticket office with the game against Bradford and also Leighton Orient. Those away games, they're also on sale through there as well. Hopefully, we will be making it a club record. But if we don't, it's still been a great achievement uh, getting five on the spin, especially how our away season started up until those five wins. Right. Uh, if you are heading up to Carlisle, safe journey to and from the game. Hopefully we're talking about the sixth win and another three points. And I'll see you next week for the midweek show. Until then, it's goodbye for now.